Hey everybody, welcome to World of Tanks with Hachiman. Um, this is uh, one of two replay videos of the SP-1C to go along with the garage overview so you can see this machine in action. Um, you can see I'm platooned with Nick and Thermo. They're both in M41 Walker Bulldogs and I'm in my brand new SP-1C. Um, this was my first game in the machine. I spent a ton of XP, free XP, to unlock it and unlock the equipment excluding the top engine. And then I spent some money and equipped the thing and and uh... Well, you'll get to see the results here. You can see I'm playing around with the gun depression, getting an idea, pointing at the ground and whatnot. That's what that was all about. And the first thing I noted, and I set it on comms, right about here is Wow, you guys are a lot faster than I am. <laughs> because they're just they're just blowing by me. Tier seven light tanks in a tier eight game. I mean, this was a pretty good matchup for us. Spot a T twenty. And there's a T thirty seven out there in the distance. Took a shot at range. Probably didn't even come close. This is that one. Hit that one. Someone else was putting fire on him too, Thermo or Nick, but he gets away and now I'm reloading. But you see what I was saying, that this reload time is pretty manageable on this thing. There's the T20, yeah, no, not quite ready to... There he is. First shot criticals, probably hit us good. Second shot did damage though it did before because I lost spot. Third shot goes right through. So a turret of a T20 is no problem for this gun. Even though I'm probably shooting through or near the gun mantlet. And I'm reloading again. Nick announces he has five shells left. And I said, alright guys, let's go get this T20. Let's finish him off. So we can swing around the flank. We know he's right there somewhere. There he is. He hasn't moved. I lock on. First shot goes low into the ground. And then there's the kill at the second shot. Wanted to get a shot at the Tiger too, but I've lost him. With one shell left, I hit the reload button and off I go. You'll do that a lot. If you get down to one shell, go ahead and reload. And there's a T29 at range. It's not looking at me, so that's one more one to First shot goes right through the upper plate. Second shot goes right through the upper plate. Third shot goes right through the upper plate. Look at that. Beautiful. 200... What was it? 250 millimeters of penetration? No, I'm sorry, that's on the T-34. 180 millimeters of penetration. More than handle... More than enough to handle the upper plate of a T-29. And I told the guys that I was reloaded, and I said, let's go. Let's go find this T-29. We're up three to two. Hit points are very close. So I said, come on, guys. Let's get in the war. And I don't find a T-29, but I find an artillery. And... I told Nick to go ahead and finish him off because I didn't want to use up another shell because then I would feel the need to reload and that's why I wanted this T20. Oh, that shot goes a little low and ricochets off the lower plate. I get shell left, put it through his upper plate and start to back off. You can see that you're not fast enough to get quite out of trouble. I spot another artillery and Thermo is taking care of him. There's another artillery that just killed Thermo. Sliver of a shot there. Didn't kill him. But I said to Nick, let's go, let's go get him. Nick has three kills. I have one. Thermo had one. And we're up nine to four as a team, so we're pretty feeling feeling pretty good about this at this point. I saw that comet and I kept him in mind. There's the artillery. I lock on. I miss the first shot. 
kill him with the next shot, and I'm reloading. And here's why I was worried. Look how slow I get going uphill. This is not a stereotypical scout. You can't play it that way. Look how slow. I mean, I'm... I'm and the comet comes right after me. I hit him once, I hit him twice, I take a shot from him, and there's the third shot for the kill. He didn't have the gun depression to hit me. He backed up over the flat part of the hill and couldn't aim down. I'm reloading. But that's going to be all she wrote. Took a snapshot. Only chance to steal a kill. That's game with a win. Let's see the stats. In my first game ever in the SP1C, first class mastery badge, and the high caliber medal. Okay, again, I don't know why it's not showing with premium account. This was a premium game with a double, so I earned 3,314 XP. Look at that. I mean, four hits on the T29, one for the kill, uh, excuse me, two with the kill on the Lorraine, one on the M4043, three with the kill on the T20, three with the kill on the Comet, and a hit in the T37 with plenty of critical hits as well. Uh, as would be expected for a performance like that in a light tank, number one on the team, uh, with 2,909 damage. Detail reported fired 21 shots with 16 hits. Not bad, not great, but not bad. You know, 75% plus uh, hit ratio. So that's certainly adequate with a 14 penetrations. So, you know, 7 out of 8 shots I fired, 87.5% penned, or 87.5 that hit penned. Overall, 67% of my shots that I fired penetrated. Uh, no assist damage, which is probably why this was not an ace tanker. But um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun to play. I hope it was a lot of fun to watch. Hope it gave you some ideas. Got one more on the SP1C coming up for you. And uh, guys, hey, please like the video, comment, subscribe below, and we'll see you next time.